How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're in a battle versus Cody in the OU tier from the Discord server. Go ahead and join the Discord server, it's the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles right now. There's a link in the description down below. And also, this is the first battle of two. We're going to be having two battles in this video, so stick around to the end to make sure you don't miss out on the second game. And looking at their team, they seem to have like some snow support with the Aurora Veil or Ikorio, which is interesting. Goldengo, Hisuian Samurott, Okidogi, and a Belly Bolt. Pretty cool stuff. Um, I think I'm going to lead off with the Toad because if they lead off with the Nine Tails, we'll be slower. So that means our rain will get set up after their snow gets set up. So I think that works out nicely. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Cody. So they're going to lead off with Samurott, which was also a potential lead, I guess. As uh, we led off with Politoed. The nice and shiny Politoed, nice and shiny Hisuian Samurott. Gotta love him. Gotta love them both. So, Samurott is in. We definitely want to go into Corviknight here because they're 100% going for a Ceaseless Edge. So we may as well get the bird in to tank that Ceaseless Edge and also get some Rocky Helmet Chip. But break a potential Focus Sash, you know? So Corviknight comes in. They do go for a Ceaseless Edge, which is going to bounce right off us. Um, but he does lay up some spikes, but we can handle that. I mean, they probably go into Goldengo now to try and stop us from going for a Defog, but um, we might be all right. So I'm going to go for a U-turn. So they do withdraw the Samurott, which is pretty much expected. They go into the Goldengo, right? Belly Bolt. Okay, Belly Bolt just as fine. We can handle that no problem. Um, as we're going to go for a U-turn real quick on the Belly Bolt on the switch in. Does no damage, but um, it does activate their Electromorphosis, which is unfortunate because it means their next electric type attack is going to sting a little bit, but we should be all right with the Bear Tick. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I think Bear Tick is the best option because Belly Bolt sometimes run Assault Vest, so I don't want to go into a Special Attacker and have it go down to a parabolic charge so that's that'd be unfortunate so we're going to the bear tick real quick like so they are leftovers they're not assault vests which is good to know but they are still very especially bulky so we've got to watch out for that so i'm going to go for an icicle spear now because they probably switch out right into the nine tails if i had to guess or the goldengo one of the two as they go into weiss which is going to be the nine tail definitely yep nine tails comes in absolutely fine by me we can handle that no problem so, in order to stop them from going for an Aurora Veil, I'm going to have to switch straight into my Politoed. But after this Icicle Spear, let's just see how much damage it does first. It's not doing much, that's for sure. Betic is a pretty strong physical attacker, but um, not really against a Ninetales, that's for sure. So, let's switch out into Politoed again. Get that rain back up, stop them from going for an Aurora Veil. They may predict this and go for a Freeze Dry, but if they do, that's a good play on their behalf. But I just want this snow out of the way, and I don't want them getting up in the Aurora Veil as either, so... In comes the Politoed, like so. Gonna get hurt by some spikes. And then we get rid of that snow with a drizzle, which is great. So let's see what they do. They go for a freeze dry, predicting the Politoed switch. Doesn't do too much damage, um, which is great. Now they have to switch out pretty much. So I'm gonna go for a weather ball because we can live another freeze dry for a start. Um, they do withdraw. Obviously they don't wanna lose their nine tails to a water type attack. What are they gonna go into? The belly ball again? Samurott. So Samurott comes in. Samurott is here. We go for a Weather Ball. It should still sting, even though it's resisted. Because it's in the rain, after all. As it does a little bit of damage, which isn't too bad. So, they definitely go for a Ceaseless Edge here. Or they might even go for a Water-type move to counteract. To get rid of the Corviknight. Because the Corviknight is the only thing that can really defog anything away. So, if we assume that's going to happen, we could go into Ludicolo. Um, but that's risky. I think I'll just go into Corviknight. I think I'll make the safe play and go into Corviknight real quick. That's, that seems like the most appropriate thing to do. <laughs> so, <laughs> in comes Noctis the Corviknight. And then they do go for a Razor Shell predicting the Corviknight switch, which is going to sting quite a bit. But we do lower their defenses with our Mirror Armor and get some Rocky Helmet, which isn't too bad. So now if we assume they're going to go for a Ceaseless Edge to take us down, because that probably KO us from here, we don't really have a good switch in. So I'm going to have to just try and go for a Defog just in case. They go for a Sacred Sword. Now that, I was going to say, I'm going to live that because it's not, it's not stabbed. Um, it's boosted by Sharpness, sure, but it's not stabbed um, and it's not boosted by Rain. So Corviknight, I could have gone for a Roost there, really, but I guess I'll go for, um, I guess I'll go for a Roost now just in case they switch out, but they don't. They go for a Ceaseless Edge, taking out Corviknight, unfortunately. Rocky Helmet is nearly going to take them out, which is great. Um, and now we get a free switch into well, whatever we want. And I'm thinking Ludicolo is the way to go. I am thinking Ludicolo is the way to go. So let's go into that. Like that. Because A, we can go for an energy ball here. 
Which will hurt the Alolan Ninetales still. A little bit. Or we go for a Hydro Pump. I think I'm going for an Energy Ball, though. I mean, we could go for a, a Weather Ball to take this thing out, no problem. But um, if they switched into the Ninetales and turned the Weather Ball into an Ice-type move, it would be not very effective. So I think an Energy Ball was the best way to go. But Samurai is down anyway, which is always good to do. Um, we did get up two layers of spikes, which is unfortunate, and we've lost our hazard clearer, but it is what it is at the end of the day. So Whis is going to come back in, the good old Ninetales. And they definitely get the Aurora Veil up this turn. They try and get the Aurora Veil up. So I'm going to go into Politoed once again. There we go, withdrawing my Ludicolo. I might have made a, gr a grim mistake here, because they could easily go for a Freeze Drive, but I feel like they go for the Aurora Veil anyway, expecting us to maybe go into something to, you know, predict the Freeze dry. I feel like that's what they do. I could be wrong. No, they do try and go for the Aurora Veil. Right, I made the right play. That's good. That's good. So now we've got to switch Polito back out because we don't want to stay in against this thing. They very likely go for a Freeze Dry here. We haven't got much of a switch into a Freeze Dry. We do have the Electabuzz. We do have the Bear Tick. So I guess we could go Bear Tick. I think Bear Tick's a good option, to be honest with you. So it looks like they stayed in. Probably to go straight for a Freeze Dry to take out Politoed over there. And we got to go into Ar Arctobax, the uh, Bear Tick. Nice and shiny, got to love it. Going to get hit by some spikes, which is unfortunate. They go for a Freeze Dry, and that's going to bounce right off us, right? Yeah, it does. And you can't freeze Ice types, I don't think. I could be wrong there. Right, so looking at the team, I'd say we go for a Liquidation here. I think Liquidation is the best thing to go for. They do withdraw the Ninetales, but Liquidation hits everything on their team pretty hard, especially in the rain. But they bring in Belly Bolt, which is interesting. So Belly Bolt does come in. As we go for a liquidation right now. Which does absolutely zero damage to this thing. But we do lower its defense. Which could be very important. Potentially very important. So, with that in mind. What would be the best course of action here? Because they probably go into the Ninetales now. I suppose I'll just go for an Icicle Spear anyway. Because it'll still hurt the Ninetales. It's chip damage at the end of the day. But I feel like they stay in here. Yeah, I thought they would. They, they stay in. They're going to take the Icicle Spear like a champ. It's going to boost their Electromorphosis, which is fine. But we got the defense drop, so I'm pretty confident that if we hit... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Is that is that charging it more every time? That I've not seen before. I've never tried to hit a Belly Bolt with a multi-hit attack before. Please, 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 no. There we go. We got a last attack in. But unfortunately, we've only hit... We've, we've hit five times. And it's not enough to get the KO as they go for a Discharge, which should KO us. Yep, because it's boosted by that Electromorphosis about five times. So, we did weaken the Belly Bolt, which is great. But, we're in a bit of a bind now. Because the only Pokemon I have to take on this Belly Bolt is probably going to be Ludicolo. We could technically Electrovire it uh, as well. Or we could go to the Dragapult and go for the Dragon Darts. But, I want to go Ludicolo because Ludicolo kind of friends the Ninetales a bit with the switch in. Which is what I kind of want. So we'll go into Ludicolo real quick. And we'll just go straight for an energy ball. That should definitely take this thing out. So there we go. They stay in and go for it. They take the energy ball like a champ. Not really. They're going to go down to it, which is great. So Belly Bolt is out of the way. And then I guess they go into Okie Doki here, right? Or they go into Ninetales. Ninetales is probably the best switch they can do. Yep, Ninetales comes in. So this turn, I think they're going to go for a freeze dry, predicting the Politoed to come in. Which would make a lot of sense. So what I'm going to do instead is, I'm going to go into Electabuzz. I think Electabuzz can take Freeze Dry, no problem. I don't think we outspeed, but I'm pretty sure we can take Freeze Dry from this thing, because Ninetales isn't the most offensive Pokemon in the world. But after Spikes, then again, maybe not. But they go for a Freeze Dry, which is going to sting a bit. Not too much, though. As uh, now I can just go straight for a Volt Switch, and that should do a lot of damage to their um, Ninetales. They do go for the Aurora Veil, which is unfortunate. But I couldn't really you know, risk it because Politoed coming in, getting the rain up, and then it would have gone down to a freeze dry. You know? So, didn't really want that to happen to my Politoed. <laughs> but then again, I didn't want the Aurora Veil up either, so that's unfortunate. So, what do we do in this particular situation? I guess we go into Politoed again. Politoed's pretty good in this instance. It does get hit by the spikes, unfortunately, but it's not enough to two it KO us. So, that's something. We do get the rain up. And then we're going to switch back out into Electabuzz, just because I'm expecting them to go for either a Freeze Dry here to take us out, or a Switch Out themselves. They do go for the Switch Out themselves, and they're going to go into Okie Dogie, which is a good Switch, I would say. A very good Switch, so we'll withdraw, we'll go into Electabuzz, and with Electabuzz, all I'm going to do with this Okie Dogie is, I'm just going to go for a Thunder. I think Thunder 
Even though the Aurora Veil's up, Thunder should still do some decent damage. Should, depending on the set that they are. So I'll go for the Thunder, see how much damage it does. Boom, not much at all. We might get a Paralysis though. We don't, they go for a Bulk Up. So Bulk Up and then they probably have Drain Punch. And they're probably special defensive, which is why they're taking it so well, the Thunder. Um, so I'm going to go for another Thunder. Like so. Just get some damage off on this thing and maybe paralyze it as well. That'd be cool. We do get the Paralysis, which is nice. Thunder's got a pretty high Paralysis chance. Um, as they go for another Bulk Up. Which is really fine by me. I'm not too bothered about it because we outspeed the Okie Dokie with everything on our team. So I'm going to go for a Thunder now once more. And basically, this is just stalling out the, the, the screen's turn on the Aurora Veil. But they go for a Drain Punch, definitely KOs my Electabuzz. It's going to get some health back for them, but not too much health, because Electabuzz doesn't exactly have a, an abundance of HP points. Um, but yeah, so Electabuzz does go down there. But we should be alright, so let's see how this plays out with Ludicolo. I have a feeling Ludicolo's Weather Ball with a Life Orb could potentially KO this thing. I think it's more than likely it won't. So I kind of want to risk the Hydro Pump. I kind of want to Terror as well. I think Terroring is important. So I don't think I need Terror for anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. I'm going to click it. So they go for Terrestrialization on the Ludicolo into a Water Type, which is going to boost the power of the Weather Ball. So it should, in theory, KO this Okie Dokie even behind a screen. Should. It's a big should. You know, a very big should. So let's see how this plays out for us. So we go for that weather ball. Will it take out the Okie Dogie? That's the real question. And it does, which is great. So Okie Dogie goes down. Big threat averted with its bull cups up. And I'm pretty confident that if the Ninetales comes in now, which it probably will, they can definitely take us out of a freeze dry. They do go into Whis, which is the Ninetales. So Ninetales comes through, Snow Warning comes through, and all we have to do really, we kind of have to go into Froggy now. We have to go into Politoed once again, get that rain back up, stop them from getting that Aurora Veil back up once it's gone down anyway. So there we go, we're drawing Ludicolo into our nice and powerful Politoed over here, Froggy over here, like so, boom, and then we're going to get that rain up, and hopefully... You know, we, we, we see um, something else here other than that. Because all, all we have to do now is bring the Ludicolo back in, which is great and all. But, there we go, Froggy goes down. Um, I'm not confident that uh, Weather Ball or KO is Ninetales past Aurora Veil. Vale. I'm not 100% confident, I'll give you that. So let's go into Ludicolo anyway. Like so. And then we go straight for a Weather Ball. Because there's no reason not to. They do withdraw the Ninetales because they want to get that snow up for later. They don't want this Ludicolo to sweep through the team pretty much. I think they may have this game, but I'm not going to give up just yet. Definitely not going to give up just yet because we still have the Dragapult at full HP. And getting rid of this Goldengo is going to be really important for that. So there we go. Go for a Weather Ball. Doesn't take out the Goldengo, but it's fine. Now I think that they're going to they're going to um, switch into their Ninetales now. I have a feeling they're going to go into Ninetales, so I'm going to go for a Hydro Pump instead. Then we go for a Hydro Pump, and unfortunately, we miss. The reason I went for a Hydro Pump is because I was expecting the Ninetales to come in. But it's fine. We can handle this. So, unfortunately, we do go down. Should have gone for a Weather Ball there, but I really thought the Ninetales would come in. I really thought the Ninetales would come in, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It didn't. It didn't do it. So we're going to Lycan Row once again. The Dragapult, nice and shiny, gotta love it. Hurt by some spikes, which is a shame. And then I guess we just go for a Phantom Force? Or a Dragon Dance? I guess I kind of have to risk the Dragon Dance, don't I? No, I'll go for a Phantom Force. I think Goldengo just goes down here. I think they just let Goldengo go down. They withdraw the Goldengo. I could have Dragon Dance there. Could have, would have, should have. And they're going to bring the Ninetales in. So that's unfortunate. But Ninetales is at half health. We've got to remember that. It does get a defense boost from the uh, snow, but we might be alright. So we're going to vanish real quick into the ground, into a dark portal in the ground. We recover some leftovers recovery, and then the next turn we just go straight for a phantom force and hope for the best. Oh, oh we could have crit! We got a crit! Oh, the tables have just turned big time. The tables have just turned big time. 
Now, we've got to remember, the Oricoria, we cannot Dragon Dance on. Because it'll copy the Dragon Dance if we do that. But I can't see Oricorio actually doing anything to us. I'm pretty sure they may have this game still. Oricorio, nice and shiny as well, gotta love it. We definitely go for a Dragon Dance here because it's the best move we've got to hit this thing. And like I said, I can't Dragon Dance because they'll just copy it. And they may go for Equivalence themselves this turn. So we go for a Dragon Dance, it should do it. It's a 2-hit KO. Not, not not by the two, you know, not by one hit, but like, it's a two hit KO for the move in total. So they do go for Equivalence, boosting their special attack, special defense, and speed. So they now outspeed us, which is unfortunate, but their defenses aren't boosted. So I'm going to go for a Dragon Darts real quick. Dragon Darts comes through, and Oricorio goes down. So even after Equivalence, Dragapult still outsped the Oricorio, which just goes to show how fast Dragapult really is, because it's so fast. It's such a fast Pokemon. In comes Goldengo. That crit on the Ninetales is definitely the reason we've won this game, though. Definitely the reason we won this game, because that Ninetales walled us to oblivion, if not. Definitely walled us to oblivion. So we'll go for another Phantom Force. It's the only move we've got to hit this uh, Goldengo with. There you go for a Recover. Good play on my opponent's behalf. Definitely a good play. Because now it means that um, our Phantom Force may actually not KO. Which means they may be able to go for a Shadow Ball here and KO our Dragapult. So let's see how this plays out. So they're going to Terrastalize. Interesting. I hope they're Terra Ghost to just try and boost the Shadow Ball power. They are Terra Poison. So they they definitely take this Phantom Force. But can Dragapult live a Shadow Ball from this thing? That's the real question. So we'll go for a Phantom Force. There we go. They go for a Shadow Ball. It's not boosted by the Terra because it's Poison. But it definitely KOs the Dragapult. And that's going to be the game. So that was a really close one. We had a bit of luck at the end there with the Phantom Force crit on the Ninetales. My opponent played super well. Uh, GG Cody. That was a really fun one. All right. The second game of today is against Cobra from the Discord server in the OU tier. Once again, reminder to join the Discord server. It's the best place to go for Pokemon Wi-Fi battles right now. There is a link in the description down below. Looking at the team, we got Hydrapple, Basque Legion, Female, Iron Valiant, Heatran, Clod Zyron, and Mandibuzz. Interesting team. Looks like our weather team is going to do pretty well. Um, we've got to watch out for that Basque Legion though. That Swift Swim is really going to hurt us if they have Swift Swim. Um, I think I'll get my rain up straight away. I think that's probably the best thing to do. And then we'll just kind of go from there. Because they might lead with Iron Valiant. They might lead with Hydrapple or something like that. But um, we'll see. We'll see. And the battle begins. Good luck. Have fun, Cobra. So they're going to lead off with Neki, which is the Mandibuzz, as we lead off with our Politoed. So not a bad matchup. We can, do, we can definitely go for an Ice Beam if we want to or something along those lines. Um, I think so. I, I'm actually, I think Weather Ball does more damage actually because it's stab, higher base power, and it's in the rain. So if we go for a Weather Ball real quick, they go for a knockoff, which knocks off our Damp Rock, which is unfortunate. Um, but it is what it is at the end of the day. We go for a Weather Ball here. Should sting a little bit. Yeah, it does about half, which is great. So if we assume they're going to Roost now or U turn, we should go into Electabuzz because they likely want to stall out that rain. So they withdraw their Mandibuzz. Are they going to go into Clodzire? Squad up. What's that? Is that Hydrapple? It is the Hydrapple. So Hydrapple comes in. We end up going to our Electab Electabuzz. So I'm looking at their team and I'm thinking, do you know what the best Pokemon to go into here? is probably going to be Buzzington. My Electabuzz. And they don't realize that we, you know, they, they think that they've predicted our switch here. So I'm hoping they let us hit them with a Terra Blast. Because that'd be really cool. Do I need Terra for anything else on the team? I've got Terra Dragon on you. I've got Terra Fighting on you. You don't really need that, though. Um, Terra Fighting on you could be cool. I think Bear Tick's going to be key to winning this. But let's go for that Terra Blast real quick. They do stay in. So we could easily get this uh, Hydrapple here with a, with a Terra Blast Ice. For the Electabuzz. If we make the Electabuzz play right here and get rid of this Hydrapple early on, that's going to be so clutch. So clutch. So let's see how this plays out. So we go for a Terra Blast. If they aren't going to terror themselves, they're not protecting nothing. Ice. Oh, yeah, this is going to sting. KOs the Hydrapple in one shot. Absolutely fantastic work from Electabuzz right there. But the game is still not over. We've got plenty to go through first. The Iron Valiant's a threat. Big threat. Basket Legion's a big threat. You name it, they're all a big threat. Gladius comes in, which is going to be the Iron Valiant. Nice and shiny. Got to love it. Definitely going to tweak that thing shiny. That's for sure. They're going to get that Quark Drive, which boosts their speed. So that's uh, good to know. And then we kind of have to go into Corviknight here. So I'm going to go into Corviknight. And I just hope that it's a physical one and not a special one. 
Looking at the team, I'd say it's probably going to be physical because they had High Drapple and Basket Legion, both special attackers, and Heatran, which is a special attacker. They don't really have a strong physical attacker. They do have Swords Dance, so they are a spe uh, physical attacker, which is good to know. So, with that in mind, we best go straight for a Brave Bird here because we need to get rid of this Iron Valley and it kind of goes through our team a bit. So, close combat comes through. We definitely take it. We definitely take it barely. Barely take it. Get some Rocky Helmets. And then this Brave Bird is going to knock out my Corviknight with the recoil. But it's worth it because that's a big threat averted. Panic averted, everyone. Panic averted. So it's going so, it's going so far so good with this uh, Cobra fight, that's for sure. So we'll withdraw our Corvo Knight now. It's fainted, obviously. And um, we have to switch something in and they have to switch something in pretty much. So I'm leaning towards the... Because we no longer have a... Oh, we didn't have a switch anyway. Uh, that Basque Legion is going to be a threat if it's got rain. So I think our best things to go into is Ludicolo. So they go into Titanica, which is going to be, what, the Basque Legion? Okay. Nice and shiny as well. Got to love that. We're going to Myra B, the Bellic Ludicolo. And then we go straight for an Energy Ball. There's no reason not to go for an Energy Ball. We should be able to live a Shadow Ball from this thing unless it's Specs. And if it's Specs and it's sh Shadow Ball locked in, we might be boned, but... We do outspeed the Basque Legion, and we do take it out with an Energy Ball. So even if they were Swift Swim, I think Ludicolo may have outsped there, because Basque Legion is not the fastest Pokemon in the world. I mean, Ludicolo isn't either, but, you know, it is what it is. So let's see what they do now. If they don't go into Clodzire, then we know it's not. Then we know it's an unaware Clodzire. Robert. That is the Clodzire. It's nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. So what do we do here? I I'm leaning towards Bertic. Bertic does really well against the rest of that team. So I'm going to go into Bertic real quick. They more than likely go for a Stealth Rocks or as Toxic, I would say. Um, if they're confident that this thing walls my Ludicolo anyway. So we're going to Bertic, nice and shiny, gotta love it. They do go for a Toxic Spikes. Which is interesting. So Toxic Spikes is a problem. Well, not really. We just go for an Icicle Spear now. Yeah, let's go for an Icicle Spear. Let's just go for it. No reason not to. They do withdraw. They're probably going to go Heatran here. Or Sack off Mandibuzz. Rosa, that's going to be the Heatran, right? The nice and shiny Heatran. You know what? Cobra's been, like, posting in the Discord chat. He's been doing Dynam Dynamax's Ventures. And he got this Heatran not too long ago, I think. So, you know, anyone who's going to say that his whole team being shiny is not legit. Trust me. He's a shiny hunter, all right. But anyway, Heatran is in. We need to keep Bertic around because it's one of the few things to um, stop the uh, Clods Iron in its tracks. We also need to get the rain back up. The fact that they didn't go into... Hmm, I think we should be all right here if we go into you. Yeah, let's go into Politoed. Politoed should be fine. We still have the opportunity to terror if we need to. So we can terror fighting that Dragapult to take this thing out. If we can get a Dragon Dance up. So I'm, I'm leaning towards that play. So we'll go Politoed. We're going to get Toxic, unfortunately. But it's fine. We're going to get that rain back up, but only for a few turns. And then they go ahead and terror. Interesting. So what type are they going to terror into? That's the real question. Fairy. So Terra Fairy, that's put my Dragapult plan in out of motion. So Terra Fairy, Heatran is a thing. They go for a Flash Cannon that's going to bounce right off my Politoed, that's for sure. And they may have Terra Blast, but I doubt it. I have a feeling they don't. Just a hunch, if you would. Um, I think what I'm going to do with this Politoed now, though, is I'm going to definitely go for a, um, a Weather Ball. Just to see if they switch the Clods Iron. I want to know whether it's Water Absorb or not. That's what I really want to know. So they do withdraw the Heatran. Are they going to go into Clodzire? Neki, that's the Mandibuzz. So they didn't bring the Clodzire in, which tells me it's not Water Absorb. Interesting. So we go for a Weather Ball here. That's going to do a lot of damage. And then we're going to get hit by the Poison. Now, we know they outspeed us. So I think we go for another Weather Ball here. They go for a Roost. They're stalling out the rain. They are stalling out the rain right now. Can't have that. So we go for another Weather Ball. That's going to do a lot of damage. Now, if we assume they're going to go for another Roost here, try and stall out the rain, we should go into something a bit more offensive. So I'm going to go into my um, Ludicolo. I think Ludicolo is a good switch. Ludicolo should do more damage than the Politoed does. That's for sure. So we are poisoned, unfortunately, but it's fine. We can handle it. 
And then they go for another Roost. So Roost is fine. And again, I'm assuming that their Clodzire is not water absorbed. By the way, they haven't brought that in already. By the way, they haven't brought that in already. I'm assuming that. So Weather Ball really should KO the Mandibles from here. So let's go for it. It's Life Ball boosted this time. Yep, takes out the Mandibles cleaner as day. And they definitely aren't water absorbed on the Clodzire. That's for sure. But the rain will wear off, I think, this turn or the next. Yeah, the rain turns stop. Yeah, there we go. So what we'll do is, whatever they bring in now, we will go into our Politoed. And I'm pretty sure Ludicolo can win this for us. So Blobbit comes in. The Clodzire. Nice and shiny. We definitely withdraw to go into Politoed right now. I'd rather do that. And then Politoed goes down to the Poison. And then we bring Ludicolo back in and go from there. So we withdraw Ludicolo real quick. And we'll go into our Politoed like so. Good old Froggy. Nice and shiny one. Nice and shiny. Got all of it. Um, as we go for a Drizzle real quick. Get that rain up. And then they go for a Poison Jab to take us out. So Polito going down is not bad up for us at all. Because it means we get one free extra turn of rain. Without having to manually switch out ourselves. So we'll go into Ludicolo. And again. I'm assuming that they are not Water Absorb. By the way, they didn't bring it in earlier. So I'm going to go for that Weather Ball. Weather Ball comes through. They are not Water Absorb. Let's see how well they take this. They barely take it. Barely take it. And they go for a Poison Jab, which should KO Mar Ludicolo. Yeah, there we go. So Ludicolo goes down. So that's great news that they're not Water Absorb. That's really good news they're not Water Absorb. Clodzire is pulling it back a little bit for them by sponging that Weather Ball. But it's fine. We still have options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Bear Tick. I think Bear Tick can handle this situation no problem. So there's Bear Tick coming through. Nice and shiny. And then we just go for an Icicle Spear, right? I'm pretty sure we just go for an Icicle Spear. Yeah, because that'll hit the Heatran perfectly fine as well. So we go for an Icicle Spear. That should take out the Clod's in one shot. There we go. No problems there. And then we just have that pesky Heatran to take care of. Who is, unfortunately for us, a fairy type. So dragon darts aren't going to hurt it. However, it does mean that our icicle spear is no longer resisted, which is great. So in comes Rosa. The Heatran. The last Pokemon. We're looking good right now. We're looking good. We're looking good. Let's go for an icicle spear. Icicle spear comes through. Ooh, that doesn't do nearly enough damage. But if we hit five times, at least we've got the maximum amount of damage off as we could. Hit four times. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. They go for a flash cannon. Can we live? I think we can live one. No, we can't. Never mind. So Heatran does take out the bear tick, but it's fine. We can handle this. No problem. So first thing to do is to throw our Electabuzz at it. Just to take, a, take advantage of the last two turns of rain to get a nice thunder off. Choice Specs thunder is going to sting. And we need to weaken this thing to the point where Phantom Force from Dragapult is able to take it out pretty much. That's what we have to do. So let's go for a Thunder. Like so. And that does a lot of damage. A lot more damage than I thought it would. They go for a Lava Plume though in the rain. I'd have gone for Flash Cannon there because we're an Ice type. So I think they made a bit of a misplay there. Flash Cannon might not have KO'd. But, you know, it would have still done more than Lava Plume. Um, I guess it doesn't matter because either way the two shotting us after the poison. So it's not a big deal. Um, because this next turn we may miss the Thunder. We don't miss the thunder though, even outside of the rain, and down goes the Heatran. And that is going to be the game. So GG Cobra, that was a fun one. And I made a really good second battle in the video. So that's, that's great. That's great. Let's go on to the... Uh, let's, let's move on from this one. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.